You know what's awesome about June? No, not the hot summer days or the start of summer vacation. It's the fact that it's Pride Month, the most wonderful time of year where corporations put on their rainbow masks and pretend to care about the gays so they can take our money. I mean, show support for our community because they love us. This is a happy time for the gays and even Animal Crossing has joined in on the celebration by making us design a wedding for a straight couple. Hi, gay. Did you know that three out of three people are gay? I'm gay. You're gay. Your dad's also gay. I should know. I'm a virgin. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm not ready for what I'm about to do. So I'm just going to apologize in advance for what's about to happen. Shortbread static. Looks like we got a whole lot of radio chatter going on yonder. Oh my God, wait, I just realized this is the first wedding season with Harriet. Does anything different happen? Hey, I hear you. We're still groovy and the anniversary shoot's gonna happen. I'm just like a little behind. Well, okay, but what'll we do about the lovely set? Prepping them kind of Ourselves can get a bit ticklish. Hey there, thanks for coming. So I need to borrow you for a minute. So this here is, is it just the exact same thing as last year? Girl, I've already done this. June's wedding season and they're looking for some blah, blah, blah. Take care of the wedding sets again. Okay, I thought they were gonna do the whole introduction once again. I was about to scream. We might as well just get right into it. I am doing this as quick as I can because we might as well. By now, I think we're all annoyed about being a wedding photographer for two straight llamas and confuse as to why we have to do it every year. But remember, Animal Crossing is a Japanese game and in Japan, Pride Month, aka June, is considered to be wedding season. So I think it makes sense for a Japanese game to reflect Japanese culture, don't you? And I know many of us might be annoyed that we aren't able to have an official gay wedding in Animal Crossing. <coughs> Slick and CJ. <laughs> but I think it's important to remember that same-sex marriage still isn't legal in Japan, and even to this day, the Japanese court is upholding the ban. <laughs> It's a sad reality that we have to live in. However, just because the game doesn't recognize same-sex marriage doesn't mean it can't be done. Thank God for the power of imagination. Oh, and look at that. The wedding venue is officially done. Don't we love the vibes of what I've done? As you can see, I clearly went for like kind of a brown wedding vibe with it. You know, in our weddings, like the bride and the groom, they're always sitting. We usually do it in banquet halls instead of like religious places. So there's always banquet tables everywhere people are literally eating food as you're getting married it's actually kind of funny this is the wedding venue for Reese and Cyrus shout out to Reese and Cyrus anyways with that out of the way let's just take a quick picture of the lovely bride and groom yes look at them serving we love it blah 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 congrats once again to Reese and Cyrus for doing that I still think it's so funny that like every year for their anniversary of their wedding they just recreate their wedding they do it every year that's what confuses me they're doing it every single year i just find that hilarious that's all i have to say imagine loving yourselves and loving your marriage that much that you just want to recreate it like do you really miss it do you really miss the good old days is there something you'd like to talk about reese i'm so curious i did not speak to them at all anyways you know with that out of the way i think it's about time that we headed on and did something a little more important now that that's out of the way. Yes. <laughs> I love that heart transition though, by the way. I just have to make that very clear. I bitch. All right, now that that's out of the way, I think it's more important that we celebrate an actual true love. And I think today we are going to create a beautiful wedding venue for our two iconic lesbians, the iconic lesbians of Fallbrook. They're getting fucking married and they've tasked me, you know, me standing right over there, the most talented bitch on this island to create a beautiful wedding venue for them. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're basically gonna create another wedding venue. Let's plan this through. I'm definitely thinking we're going the banquet hall vibes once again, because I think banquet hall vibes are great. Shout out to banquet halls. To be completely honest, with y'all, I'm feeling like it would be best if we just kind of copied exactly what I did for Reese and Cyrus, but now, you know, just did it for Margie and Whitney and them because 
Yeah. I think that would be great. But I feel like for Margie and Whitney, they would definitely want a more chic design rather than the pinks and the whites. We're gonna go gold. We're gonna go bougie. Do I have the wedding arch? Yes, I do. Or wedding arc. I don't fucking care. This is definitely the color scheme that I'm thinking when I think Margie and Whitney. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We gotta change up the lighting real quick because this lighting is pissing me off. We should go like more softer, more intimate vibes like that. I think something like there. And then we'll definitely just like kind of light up the spot with like other lights. I don't know. The floor is pissing me off. I really don't have a lot of items at my disposal, huh? What floor should I give them? I guess we can just do like a hardwood. Ooh, ooh, that actually does feel cozy. Sure, why not? Yeah, that's the vibe. We're definitely gonna take the wedding hall decoration and put that there. Yes, I think we're just gonna do exactly what I did and just kind of line up the flowers where I feel like flowers should be lined up at. Cute, cute, cute. Actually, I feel like it'd be cuter if I put that there, that there, and just got rid of those ones. So I definitely wanna try to go for like the banquet hall vibe once again, because you know, that's just how brown weddings are. We always do them at banquet halls, especially up here in Canada. I don't know if it's common to do that in like the States or like other countries, but like up here, every single brown wedding that I've been to has always been done in a banquet hall. I feel like it's either in a banquet hall or in a temple, but usually it's a banquet hall. Ooh, we can definitely use these arch things. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Yes, I'm getting a vision in my head. We're gonna put that, that. Oh, I can only fit two of them. That's annoying. All right, we're just gonna have to be smart about it. I guess like that. Do I have like a cute fun light that could probably fit there? Ooh, maybe the organ. Oh my God, the organ fits perfectly. We can like turn it around. Maybe, no, not that color. I mean, like that kind of works, but I feel like the white would be more fun, you know, just to kind of like brighten up the space. I feel like this seat is too dark. Actually, I feel like if we made it that color and then did that, maybe that instead. Lots of natural woods and such. That's cute, cute, cute. Do we think that's cute? Please tell me if you think that's cute. I don't have the wedding chair unlocked because I haven't bought it yet, but I feel like this antique chair works just as nice. It kind of does match the vibe. So we'll probably do that. And we're just gonna move that like over there and you know, just do exactly what I did to Reese and Cyrus because I'm unoriginal. So that's that over there. And then we'll get another table because there are only eight guests invited to the wedding because it's, you know, basically everybody else who is in the bridal party. So we really only need eight seats. Also, 10 people are only allowed in this room. So what can I say? I kind of want to get rid of the table because we are going to put the chairs like so and just kind of, actually, let's just get rid of everything for now. Let's just get rid of everything for now because for the thing that I'm planning in my head, we should just have enough space for everything. This wedding, if it's not obvious, is gonna be very small and intimate because I think small and intimate weddings are a lot better than big giant weddings. Uh, fun fact about me, I would like a small and intimate wedding because this may be kind of ironic, but I hate being center of attention and I don't want a lot of people perceiving me on my wedding day because that's that's kind of scary. Okay, so why did I get rid of all the seats? I actually have no idea. Maybe I should get the seats back. By the way, I came into this with no plan. I'm just doing because I think that's more fun. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's get a cake because they definitely have a wedding cake. Shout out to cakes. They're definitely gonna have that one. And maybe we can get like a cute little, cute little like candle, some candle action. That would be great. Where are the candles? There are the candles. We'll get one over there. We'll get one over there. Something cute. Maybe just like these carnations. What in carnation? We got some carnations. What exactly am I planning? I have no idea. Okay, let's put these flower bouquets over here and then maybe just get like one more and put that there if you ever want to hire me to be your wedding planner this is proof why you shouldn't just so we're clear we're gonna put some seats there we're gonna put some seats back here we're gonna do the same thing on the other side cute 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 i think that works out let's pretend to be the brides for a second one bride's gonna stand here and then the other one can probably just stand right over here where's teddy teddy and i can pretend to be the brides for a second teddy hey bitch love this 
sweater. Me and you are gonna be standing. So let's pretend that this is Margie and Whitney. They are both stood over here. Yes, yes, that's cute. Maybe we'll move them down one bit because this wedding is probably gonna have an officiant. Actually, it is gonna have an officiant because I'm the officiant. Um, Maybe Dobie can pretend to be the officiant. Sure, he's just gonna stand right over there. Where does the officiant stand in a wedding? Do they stand in front or do they stand behind you? I don't know. In our culture, they kind of stand off to the corner over here so that everybody can see them. Maybe we can do that just for like, you know, aesthetic purposes. We can get the best maid and um, bachelorette of honor. I don't fucking know what they're called. Poppy is Whitney's person. And then Agnes is Margie's maid of honor. Is it maid of honor? Maid of honor and I guess best man, matron of honor. I don't know. Poppy is Whitney's best friend in case people don't know. Where would they be standing? Maybe we can get rid of these flowers and then Poppy can stand over here and then Agnes can stand over there. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. It looks very, very crowded though. Doby you and everything take a step back oh right you can stand in the wedding art i totally forgot you can do that that's a really good point oh my god i'm so dumb i forgot you can stand inside the wedding arch so maybe i'll stand in the wedding arch and then whitney and margie can just like do that we'll probably do this so there's actually space yes and then they can just like face each other this is how you do weddings that looks cute they do the whole shebang the do you do you do you and then bam they kiss just like that i think that works out thank you everybody for your service that works out perfectly i'm now just stood there like an idiot good to know i feel like this is a cute wedding venue sort of actually we gotta add some more touches like first of all i haven't even finished decorating the walls we have the giant chandelier of course because it's not a wedding until there's a giant chandelier. Chandeliers are great. They add light. Should we get like some more decorations? Maybe like a plant? You know, when in doubt, just add some plants and it usually makes it a lot nicer. Like maybe we can get this cacao tree. No, we'll get these. Actually, the chiffleras, is that what they're called? Chiffleras are usually like a good filler plant to use. We can do that and then we can get another one, put that over there. Yes, that's cute. That's cute. Fun, fun, fun. Do we think Margie and Whitney would be proud? They better be. Oh, and then of course there has to be like spotlights because if y'all have been to weddings, like photographers, they do what they need to, but they have like fucking spotlights everywhere. They make sure it is blinding your ass as well. They got to get the good lighting for the shoot. You know, photographers, that's just how they are. This is a fun wedding. It's nice and dark and intimate and cozy. It's fit for our little familia known as the Fallbrook family. And I think with that out of the way, I think it's about time that the guests start showing up to the wedding. Unfortunately though, because everybody on this island depends on me way too much, as you can see, everybody is not dressed. Literally everybody's just in casual clothes. Dobie and Lopez are twinning for some reason. What the fuck? So, you know, I guess it's up to me once again. We gotta dress everybody up for this damn wedding. The dress code is obviously very, very casual, very, very formal. I don't know if I have enough clothes clothes to dress everybody accordingly. So we are gonna be sat here for a while trying to figure everything out. We're just gonna start off right away with me and what I feel like I'm gonna wear. Is this a fit? <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh God. I feel like a kurta would be fun. Kurta. I don't know how to say it. Kurta? Is it kurta? Should I do that? Do it for the culture? <laughs> they can't stop me. What are they gonna do? Slap me? I dare them. That's kind of cute. Do I have like appropriate shoes to wear with this? I don't think so. We could just wear some loafers. I can wear the fucking stripper heels. Okay, now that I've said that out loud, I think it's only fitting that I do that. Yes! <laughs> this is my fit for the wedding, bitch. Let's go. I'm gonna just stand right there in my spot. Of course, as we dress up everybody else. I think right away, it's only fair that we start off with our brides. We got Miss Margie over here. You know Miss Margie is gonna wear some hot couture. Do I have a good wedding dress? Oh god, I don't even think I have wedding dresses. Like I said, I didn't come into this with the plan. I guess like, you know, that kind of counts as a wedding dress. Do I have any white dresses available? Fuck, I literally have no white dresses. She could show up in a kurta. Uh-oh. Hang on. Everybody, excuse me, excuse me. Agnes, please move. I am going to run home real quick because I think there's something I can do to sort this out. Wilbur, take me the fuck home right this instant. We need to see if there's anything available at the April Sisters last minute. Oh no, this is a last minute emergency. Kids, I always say it's fun to do things spontaneously and go in with no plan. That was a fucking lie. Plan, especially when it comes to a wedding of your two best friends. Okay, here we go, here we go. We gotta head straight to the Abel sisters. Hopefully they're open. As you can see, Whitney is currently at home getting ready for the wedding. Margie is, what the fuck is Tangy doing? 
Tangy, today is not the day. We'll get back to you later, Miss Girl. Not her trying to fucking steal the thunder. She's ready. You could see her in her outfit serving. And Miss Girl's trying to make this about her. It's just like Tangy to do that. Is there anything available at the Able Sisters? Mabel, Sable, please do not tell Margie and Whitney that I'm doing this. Do they have any white dresses available? I mean... <laughs> Like, it's a white dress. I wish this dress came in white. This would have been perfect. No, of course Animal Crossing does this, of course. If I was a bride, I would probably wear this to my wedding. No one can stop me, no they can't. What the fuck are you doing? No, Lopez, you are not trying it on their wedding day. I fucking dare you. Margie, do not perceive me. Tangy, please stop trying to make the world revolve around you. I have to head back to finish planning the wedding. Should we quickly check in with the bride-to-be? At least one of them. They're clearly avoiding each other because it is bad luck to see your spouse before the wedding. Good for that. Miss Whitney, hello. What are you doing, Miss Girl? You're supposed to be getting ready. Why are you just stood here in your fucking tank top? I'm very particular about my bed. Why are you talking about your bed to me? I always sit down at my Moroccan trade table to do my skincare regime. Aww. And she does it while Margie's watching her. That's so cute. Yes. Uh, we have Whitney, our skin queer queen. Yes. You can see she's clearly, clearly having the jitters. So I think it is fair that we calm her down. KK Bossa is sharp. Oh my God. That's literally her fiance's favorite song. That is so adorable. I love that she talks about it. Yes. Okay, Miss Whitney, we'll leave you alone. We'll let you finish getting ready. Granted, I'm probably the one who's gonna have to get her ready because, duh. Everybody report for line of duty. We got Renee, we got Tangy, we got Poppy, we got Teddy, we got Dobie, Flop, Wolfgang, Margie, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> Whitney, you're getting ready first, Miss Girl. The wedding dress that I want you to wear. Ooh, maybe she could wear that. You know, say fuck it to the gender roles. Why not? She could show up in a chic tuxedo dress, but she won't because Whitney is a classic girl. And I feel like Whitney likes to follow tradition, so she will be showing up in a white dress. This is a nightgown, but for the day, let's just pretend that it's a dress, okay? Oh my god, she could wear this. That could be fun. I wish you could organize this by color so you can actually like, maybe she could wear this and then Margie can wear that. Margie could wear the red one. You know, like I said, who's to say we have to wear white to our wedding? Although, like I said, I feel like Whitney would want to wear white, so maybe she could wear this. Am I stupid? Is she going to wear anything in her hair? I don't think they'd want to do anything to their hair. I feel like what they're wearing is just fine. And then Margie, who is still not looking at her because that's bad luck. Margie can probably wear, maybe Margie might be showing up in a chic tuxedo dress. And Whitney will be showing up in just a regular plain white dress because I feel like that's just a lot more bougier and appropriate than doing that. I don't know, Margie is a very fashion forward girl, don't you think? I feel like it is in Margie's nature to do something like that. Yes, Miss Margie. Everybody say yes for Margie. We gotta dress everybody else up. We're gonna start off with the maid of honor. Agnes is 100% wearing a suit, point blank. She's wearing a suit. She would wear this pink suit for sure. She's wearing that. Do I have like another pink suit that could work? Maybe that. Oh, that's kind of ugly. No offense. She could wear this. I know that's a bit more casual, but are there any other pink suits? Again, why can I not organize this by color? Ooh, that. I feel like is appropriate. Agnes is definitely someone who is a bit progressive with her fashion as well. Ow, I just kicked my mic. Um, One thing about Miss Agnes, although she is quite progressive and forward thinking, she does lack in the taste department. So I feel like, you know, in her head, she's thinking, yes, look at me serving in this tuxedo. But everybody else is thinking, holy shit, that tuxedo is ugly. She's fighting gender roles, but the gender roles are still winning the battle. Next up, we're gonna do the best man, Poppy. I feel like Poppy is gonna keep it very simple, very, you know, low key reserved because Poppy is that kind of guy. Probably just gonna show up in a tuxedo as well. Nice suit and tie action. Good for Poppy. Poppy's a classy man. And then why is Lopez staring me down like that? What the fuck? Tangy is already wearing what she's meant to be wearing because yes, Miss Tangy, she's dressed up. Good for her. She can get the front row seat right over there. Renee is Agnes's date. And I feel like Renee will be serving at this wedding. What should she wear though? She could show up in a maid dress. Maybe this? Ooh, that I feel like is a vibe. I wish we had more accessories in the game. I know that's like kind of dumb, but like all we have are glasses and hats. Why don't we have like bracelets and like anklets? I don't know, like other accessories that we can put on for our villagers. Like imagine if the villagers were able to put on like bracelets and stuff, that would be really cool. I feel like we're gonna dress up Dobie next. Grandpa Dobie, excuse me, you have horrible vision. The optometrist said you 
have to wear these glasses at all times. I can't be taking care of you for the rest of your life. You gotta learn how to do it on your own. Maybe this tuxedo. Ooh, that makes him look quite dapper. I feel like, ooh, I actually do like this. Let's change up the glasses to the gray ones or the black. Ooh, oh my God, look at him serving. Yes. Dobie will sit over here, sure. Let's dress up my boyfriend next, Mr. Teddy. Teddy again. He's very himbo vibes. And when I think himbo, I don't think they wear ties. Like himbos don't wear ties because it's a choking hazard to him. So, oh, but that looks so cute on him. Actually, I kind of want to make him wear this. I feel like Teddy would wear sunglasses or maybe he like fell on the way. Maybe he has a bandage on because he just like got injured. He's definitely the type of guy at the wedding to like get injured. You know how like in most comedy shows, like Marshall shaved his head or like Joey came up in his fucking you know, actor's uniform. I feel like Teddy is that guy. Like he's gonna show up with the eye injury. Um, we're gonna do Dobie next. No, this is Wolfgang. Wolfgang, again, simple dude. He's not gonna be all flashy, babashy or whatever. He's just gonna show up in a suit and tie. Nice and simple, just like Wolfgang to do so. He can sit over there. And then we have Flop. And I think we all know that Flop loves loves to be the center of attention. We gotta make him wear something stupid. Definitely gonna try to like steal the show. He would come in a dress. If he was a girl, he would wear white to the wedding. He's that type of person for sure. If this was my wedding, he would wear white to the wedding, but he's not at my wedding. He's at Margie and Whitney's wedding. Oh my God, he would show up in this. I didn't realize that it would look like a skirt. That makes this so much more perfect. Oh my God, he would definitely wear that. He would wear the fucking fedora and he would wear sunglasses. He thinks he's serving but he doesn't realize that he just looks like a fucking idiot like especially with these glasses this is exactly how he would show up to a wedding and he's gonna park his ass right next to wolfgang and make sure i see it oh my god you know with that all out of the way i think it's time for the wedding don't we think like we should just get this shit set up you know organize everything hello sir hello person in charge of everything i think it's time for the wedding to begin send out bride number one bride number one report to the stage oh my god here we we go we got to play the music bum, 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 bum. nope that's the wrong song bum, bum, ba -dum. Ba -ba 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 -dum. they don't walk on their own when you're at harv's island i just realized that everybody's just kind of standing still how do i get them to move oh god this is about to be really awkward Cute. <laughs> All right, person in charge, send out bride number two. Okay, okay, cool. Everybody, welcome welcome to the event um we are here today to celebrate the love between these two animals people may find this weird because this is an elephant marrying a wolf but who cares love is love shit hang on hang on we gotta set some emotions real quick nope don't change your clothes on to the part of the wedding where people speak margie bitch hi do you take whitney to be your lawfully wedded wife yes you do okay cute whitney your turn do you take Margie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Cool, cute, great, fun. I don't know how to throw a wedding. You two love each other, yes? Yeah, clearly you do. Okay, cute. Do you people um, like cheese? Great, cool. Girls, please stand and face each other or whatever. Uh, no, nope, don't turn around all the way. You're supposed to face your bride. Please do that. Face your bride. And you, why are you turning that way? Why don't you turn the other way? Face your bride. This is very, very awkward. Well, with the power vested in me by me, you two are already doing it. <laughs> Look at our brides. <laughs> Oh my God, yes. With that all out of the way, the power has been vested to me by me because I am an almighty human being. So with that out of the way, you two may now kiss. Ooh, look, they're kissing. It's when they go, but they're both lesbians. You two, congratulations. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you married. Yes, look, they're married. Hooray. Yes, look, everybody's celebrating. They're married. Whitney and Margie are married, everybody. Yes, why is Renee just sat there looking weird? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, 
that out of the way. That's their wedding sorted. I guess we can call it there. Yeah, everybody agree. We can just, you know, head on home. We don't have an engagement or a reception planned or anything because, you know, budget cuts. It's been tough these last two years. Y'all literally, do y'all even have money? I feel like I'm the only one on this island who has money and everybody else is kind of just living here. How did you two even fund this wedding? Oh wait, you didn't fund this wedding. I did. This is literally all my stuff. Those are my clothes. You are literally wearing clothes that I bought. Well, anybody else want to get married before we wrap it up here? Agnes, Renee, I know y'all told you two only started dating like a month ago, but like y'all want to get married? Wolfgang, Lopez, you know, you might as well share it to the world that you two are together. You want to get married? Tangy, I know you're by yourself and you're planning on leaving the island, but like you want to marry Poppy anyways? He's your best friend. Nobody wants to get married. All right. We're just gonna leave it there then. I don't know what this video was. I was bored. So this is what happens when I'm bored. Happy Pride Month, if you're gay. Shout out to being gay. And if you're straight, boo.